hello guys good evening all right so in this video i want to teach us all we need to know about youtube because i have met several people who are asking me how do they start creating their content on youtube now um the first thing you need to know is that you need to have some equipment and those equipments are you want your phone so i have a samsung phone this is a samsung s10 plus samsung s10 plus right and then i also use samsung s21 now these phones i am mentioning to you guys does not mean that without these phones you cannot create content i am trying to explain to you that samsung or android is what i would recommend samsung in particular but if you don't have money to get one now you can still make do with your whatever you have whether infinix um, Redmi, Techno, but once the camera is bright enough. Now, one thing we should know is that aside having these um, equipments like ring lights, mic, tripod stand, your phones, and of course your number of contents to start with, there is one particular thing you need to know. Each time you upload a video on YouTube, you are meant to use title in the title of the video. Now, the title you are going to use must be exact of what the video or the content is all about. You are not going to use a title that does not relate to the topic you are teaching or you have taught or you are making video on. Try to make good use of your title. Use the keywords to title your videos. Now, after this, the next thing to do is you have your description. Now, description comes the blog. The section after the title is your description. So, these two points are the areas you must, you know, get hold of from the beginning. Then, after that, the next you will know is that you must make use of hashtags. Hashtags that are pertaining to the topic you are teaching or topic you have taught. For example, um, video, hashtag video, hashtag viral, hashtag fashion, hashtag whatever you are doing. If you are doing to finance, hashtag finance, hashtag comedy, if you are into comedy, right? So, you will use keywords that are related to the niche you are creating content on. Having said that, now the next you will do is to be consistently posting contents. Now, for the first time, you are going to post content in regards to you know have number of videos so there is a wise saying that says from beginning focus on quantity then later on focus on quality now the quantity you are going to focus on is to enable you you know generate or have enough um, videos that your viewers can have access to but if you can still make do by focusing on quality and, quant and, and, um, and quantity at once, there is still no problem, right? So having said that, now um, there is also another trick I want to give you. Now, um, that trick is, um, I wrote it down, you know, whenever I attend a seminar or a program, I wrote, I write things down. So you have to there are five tricks here you have to create searchable topics like you don't have to use topics that is only um, available to your knowledge you have to create searchable topics that things people are looking for do you understand like topics that people are looking for you're not going to create let's say um how to do something ab um, abstract or absurd you have to go for those topics that you know people are looking for so you have to create searchable topics right now even if you want to steal a content from someone you have to steal like an artist you know you don't have to pick up someone's content and upload your channel without doing editing without doing any reaction or without doing any kind of reformation of the video so you have to steal like an um, artist now, everything we see on social media or on the internet is a copy of the original. Look for other 
proven videos that other others had made or had recreated and create your own. Do you understand? Like, if you want to create a video on how to grow a YouTube channel, for example, you have to watch other videos on people that have made the video previously and understand what they are saying, add your own initiative to the video and then recreate yours. You're not meant to repeat what they have said verbatim. Do you understand? You have to twist it all around. Now, by adding monetizable topics to your videos or by going um, um, affiliate commission, which can come later on, leave this number three. It's not for someone starting up newly. Now, you have to stick to a niche. You have to stick to a niche. Now, to stick to a niche, it will make your viewers to anticipate or have a view of what they should expect from your channel. So, you could as well bring two or three ideas together to form a niche. For example, if you are into fashion, you could do fashion shows, fashion talk, um, fashion review, podcasts on fashion, fashion sewing proper, fashion business, business, business of the fashion, um, whatever be any other area you can do on fashion, you can attend, you can compress this to be one niche, right? So it must not really be only one particular thing. You could get some topics within that same area, use it and form your niche, and people will know you for that. So having said that, now the next you're going to um, know um, is um, by focusing on quantity first before quality. Now, you have to produce 10 to 30 videos at least in a month. Like you have to upload two or two videos daily, one video daily. In a month, you have to put at least 30 videos monthly. This will help to get you your requirements to get monetized. Then, um, when you are producing these videos, you will be monitoring the comment section of those videos to know if the, your subscribers or your audience are cool with it or if you are getting too much negative comments. You can now, you know, change your niche or, you know, do some um, modifications or editing. Now, once you follow your passion in life, you must make money. So. Um, when you have done all of this, you know, you will see that um, you will not know when you have started creating content. Now, some people are still asking me, what are the requirements to get before you get monetized? The first requirement you will have is that your channel must have five, um, 1,000, sorry, 1,000 subscribers, 1K subscribers. And what does this 1K, 1K subscribers mean? It means that you have 1,000 people that are your audience on YouTube. Be in mind that subscribers does not mean that they will pay you. They are not paying you. They are not the one paying you. YouTube is the one paying you when you get monetized. Subscribers are like friends on Facebook, just like when you have 1,000 people, 1,000 friends on Facebook. Subscribers are like your followers on Instagram when you have one case followers on Instagram. So YouTube them is subscribers. So they are not the one paying you. You are the one. They are YouTube is the one going to pay you. So you need to have 1,000 subscribers. Then the next requirement is that you must have 4,000 watch minutes. Now watch minutes means that people must have watched your video for 4,000 minutes. Now this will now give you more reason. To post more videos because the more you post the videos the more you are able to reach the watch minutes right because if you post one video you cannot use one video to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch minutes so once you have gotten these two requirements YouTube will send you an automatic email in your email address linked to your YouTube channel now they will, in the email they will tell you congratulations you have met the requirements 
to become a YouTube partner. Now, they will not give you a link to click to process or to fill the form for the partnership program. So, once that link comes, you now click on it to proceed. The link is just there at the end of your email. Now, be in mind that this thing can, could be done. You can do this by yourself. You don't need to pay someone money to make to do this for you. Once you are attentive, focused, and patient enough, you can produce or assess these whole things by yourself. Once you have done this, you will now start creating content and posting on your channel. Now, once you create content, you will now once you apply, the application will take at least five working days. Now, you are going to use your government issued id card id cards like your passports your voters card any government issued id card school id card will not work your office id card will not work national id card passports the these two documents will work and i think your driver's license will also work because it's a now it's a government issued id card right so once you have done or gotten to this level you apply and then they will now review your application and make sure that your name on the id card must tally with your bank details for you to be able to pull the money peacefully and and without any hitches now when you have done this now the next thing you will know is that in uploading videos on YouTube, there are recommended minutes you need. And that minutes is 8 minutes and above. When you are looking for your watch hour, you could do short clips of 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 4 minutes in order to maximize your views to get your watch hour right. But the moment you have forgotten your watch hour, you are no longer going to use those watch um, those durations in your um, in your videos. You are now going to add more duration to for you to be able to maximize the advert points that will be playing on your video. So if you like this video, please kindly like this video, share, comment. And tell me if I should give you more insights on how to become a successful YouTuber here on my channel. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel to have more access to videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.